Number 10, the Grim Sleeper. At least 10 individuals, including a teenage girl, were killed by the Grim Sleeper between 1984 and 2007. For years, the Grim Sleeper avoided capture by the police. In 2008, it was discovered that the DNA of a man named Christopher Franklin, who had been found guilty as a criminal, closely matched that of the Grim Sleeper. Investigators were interested in Christopher Franklin's father, Lonnie David Franklin Jr., even though he was too young to have committed the 1980s killings. An undercover policeman took a slice of pizza that Lonnie had eaten and pretended to be a waitress. Lonnie was detained after the DNA match. Number 9. The Boston Strangler The U.S. East Coast was scared by this notorious episode. In the Boston area between 1962 and 1964, 13 women were killed. With a nylon stocking, many people were strangled. Eventually, Albert DeSalvo, who confessed and revealed other information that had been withheld from the public, was charged with committing the atrocities. Although his confession's truthfulness has been questioned, he was sentenced to life in prison. However, forensic scientists collected DNA from DeSalvo's young nephew in 2013 remarkably matched the DNA from one of the crime places. Later, DeSalvo's body was unearthed, and an exact match to his DNA was discovered. Number 8. BTK Killer It frequently pays off to appeal to a killer's ego. From 1974 until 1991, BTK murdered 10 people. The BTK murders ceased in 1991, and the investigation was abandoned. In addition to the murderers mocking letters to the media, the case gained notoriety for the sheer number of victims. In a letter to the Eagle, Dennis Rader admitted to being responsible for a 1986 homicide that had not yet been investigated. In order to effectively tease law enforcement to apprehend him, Rader sent letters and other hints to media sources in 2004. When Rader inquired about the possibility of a floppy disk being tracked and was advised to send one in by the police, he did so which led to his demise. Investigators discovered metadata on the DVD that connected it to one Dennis Rader. Rader was arrested on February 25th, 2005 after DNA from Rader's daughter and DNA from a crime scene closely matched. He is currently incarcerated for life. Number seven, disappearance of Eden Paths. Another well-known cold case that was lain unexplained for years is Eden Paths' disappearance. Pats was one of the first kids included in the picture on a milk carton campaigns of the early 1980s. Jose Antonio Ramos, convicted child sex abuser and acquaintance of Eaton's previous babysitters, was named as the main suspect in the case in 1985. Ramos was never found guilty, though, due to insufficient evidence. Pats' case was eventually closed, but was later opened again in 2010. However, until Pedro Hernandez broke his silence in 2012, there was no fresh evidence. Hernandez was charged with second-degree murder, but the case was dropped before the first trial even started because Hernandez's attorneys claimed that he had a low IQ and a personality problem that made it hard for him to discriminate between fact and fiction. After a mistrial in 2015, Hernandez was ultimately found guilty and given a life sentence in prison with a chance of parole after at least 25 years in 2017. Number 6. Murder of the Lyon Sisters Sheila and Catherine Lyon, who were 10 and 12 years old respectively, abducted on March 25, 1975, while visiting a neighboring mall. Despite an extensive volunteer search effort, the Lyon Sisters were never located. The Lyon Sisters' case was often reviewed over the ensuing decades, but no leads were ever discovered until Sergeant Chris Homrock discovered Welch's interview in 2013. Welch was publicly identified as a person of interest by the authorities in 2014, and he was charged with first-degree felony murder for his suspected role in the killings of Catherine and Shelia Lyon a year later. Welch entered a plea of guilty on September 12, 2017, to two counts of first-degree murder for the kidnapping and slaying of Catherine and Shelia Lyon in 1975. Number 5. Murder of Irene Garza Irene Garza's murder was a mystery for 57 years, till Father John Bernard Feet was found guilty in 2017. On April 16, 1960, Garza was last seen alive. She failed to come home after going to confession at church and was reported missing the next morning. The following day, on April 21st, a large volunteer search effort was started, 
and Garza's body was discovered. Garza's confession was heard by Father John Bernard Fight, a priest who has since been named the sole suspect in her death. Fight was never found guilty, however, and the case remained unresolved for many years. Dale Tackney and Joseph O'Brien, two pastors, claimed in 2002 that Feet had admitted to killing a lady in the 1960s. Despite the newly discovered evidence, it was nearly 10 years before Garza's case was revived, and it wasn't until 2017 that Feet was found guilty. While he was confined, Feet just passed away on February 12, 2020, from natural causes. Number 4. Murder of Susan Galvin Another unsolved cold case that was resolved using contemporary genealogical databases and old DNA is the murder of Susan Galvin. There was only one suspect in the case of Galvin's rape and murder, which were discovered in a parking garage in July of 1967. For many years, the lone suspect was a professional clown who had been spotted with Galvin a few days prior to her discovery. Due to a lack of evidence, the clown was never charged, and a DNA test in 2016 led to the clown's final release. Detectives sent the murderer's DNA to Parabon Nano Labs in Reston, Virginia during the summer of 2019. They had obtained the DNA decades before. It was possible to build a family tree for the murderer and eventually identify him as Frank Wypeg by using data from a genealogy database. Despite the fact that Galvin's case has been resolved, Wypeg's death in 1987 means that there will never truly be justice for her murder. Number 3 murder of Everett Delano. Everett Delano's murder was never prosecuted, but in February 2019, the matter was formally resolved and closed. Delano, a Navy veteran, was shot three times in the head in 1966 while working at Sanborn's garage for a buddy. Even though fingerprints were recovered from the crime site, no suspect or murder weapon were ever discovered until the investigation was revived in 2013. Fingerprints that were taken all those years ago belonged to Thomas Cass, a career criminal. Before Cass committed suicide in the early months of 2014, investigators spoke with him three times. Cass reportedly informed the woman he shared a home with at the time of his death. You never talk about something that has no statute of limitations. The fingerprints, this confession, and Cass's suicide led the police to conclude that Cass was the murderer. Number 2. The Golden State Killer the Golden State Killer, one of the most infamous villains in California, killed at least 13 people between 1974 and 1986. He also carried over 120 home invasions in addition to several sexual assaults. Until detectives entered the murderer's DNA into a family genetics website, the case was unsolved for decades. They were able to link the DNA to a senior man by the name of Joseph D'Angelo by creating family trees. D'Angelo's car door handle and a tissue he'd thrown away were both tested for DNA. D'Angelo was finally apprehended because the evidence pointed directly to the Golden State Killer. D'Angelo was given a life sentence on August 21, 2020, just before he turned 75. Number 1. The Oldest Cold Case Solved with DNA a cold case from 1956 was finally solved in June of 2021. As the oldest American cold case ever resolved with DNA evidence, it had a 65-year time lag. Teenage lovers Dwayne Bogle and Patricia Kalitsky were discovered dead in January 1956. The case involved three dozen individuals who were interrogated, but the suspect escaped justice. One mile away from Kalitsky, the murderer might have been residing directly next door to them. A vaginal swab has examined in 2001 and one sperm cell was discovered. A new suspect, the now deceased Kenneth Gold, was identified by detectives using genetic genealogy. The outcomes were verified by DNA from Gold's kids. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.